Welcome to Business 135 Business Math Fall Quarter 2021. This is a Highline College class, and we're here at our people.highline.edu slash mgervin website. Now, this website is different than our Canvas website, and we'll come back and look at Canvas later. The people website, Business 135 link, when I click on it, down here, these links provide all the videos, handouts, and Excel files we're going to use in this class. Now, in this class, you don't have to go out and buy an expensive textbook because I created all the content for this class. Now, we'll come back and look at how to navigate the videos and the files in just a moment. Here is the syllabus for my class, and Mary Kando also teaches this class. And there's no link to this video yet, because I'm filming it right now. But what we want to do is look at the syllabus and the PDF notes, look at a Canvas a little bit, and then we'll come back and see how to watch the videos and download the files. So I'm going to click on the syllabus, which is a PDF file. Here's our syllabus for the class. And your job on day one is to read the syllabus and watch this video. Now, I do want to go over just a few things in the syllabus. And most importantly, this table of contents, if you click on any part of this, it'll jump right there. And that's important because the schedule for this class is in this PDF notes at our People website. So you'll be coming back here a lot. And you can click on the Schedule link, and it jumps you to the schedule at the end of the syllabus. Week 1 to week 5, here's week 6 to week 12. For week 1, here's the dates, here's the topic, and here's the videos from video 00, which is this intro video, to video number 7. And in the final column, it tells you you have two quizzes this week. If we go down and look at week two, there's the dates. There's the topic. There's three videos. And for this week, we have a test. Now, you'll do lots of work practicing, watching the video, following along. But in order to get points towards a grade in this class, that's where the quizzes and the tests come in. Now, there's a total of four quizzes and four tests. Now, actually, there's five quizzes because guess what? Quiz number 00, it says an attendance quiz before noon on Friday, October 1st. Now, that's at noon, and you have to take this quiz. Now, it's just a single question with a single answer. It asks you, do you want to attend this class? And you click the Yes button. Now, this is important because Highline has a policy where students are dropped if they do not come to class the first week. So you want to make sure before Friday, October 1st, to just go take this quiz and click Yes. Then quiz number one covers the material from videos one to seven. And it'll cover math and Excel, whatever was in this first week here. And it's due before midnight on Sunday. Now, the thing about quizzes is you can actually do them. This quiz here, there's a quiz right here, and then there's some other ones down below. You can do them whenever you want, as long as they're done before the end of the class. However, if you study these seven videos, it's best to take the quiz right away. Now, tests are different. Here it says the Excel math test will be emailed out at 9 AM on Friday. And the Excel test must be uploaded to Canvas before midnight, Sunday, 1010. Now, it says must be uploaded because there is a time constraint here. You have from 9 AM on Friday until midnight on Sunday to complete this Excel file. Now, the Excel files will be very similar to what you see in the videos. So whatever skills you learn in the videos and you're practicing, you'll use for the test. But if you don't hand it in on time, there's a 25% point reduction. So here's week three. There's the videos. There's a quiz. Ah, week four, you watch some videos, but there's nothing until the following week where you get your second emailed Excel math test. And I want to go to the section called Requirements for the Class. You already know you don't need to buy a textbook for this class, but you must have daily access to a Windows-based PC computer that fulfills these requirements. Computer must have an internet connection that allows you to watch YouTube class videos. The computer must have Excel, and you can have the version Excel 2013 or later for a PC computer, and the free Microsoft 365 with Excel and Word, for that matter, that Highline provides students is good for this class. Now, unfortunately, you cannot use a Mac or a Chromebook for this class. And the reason why 
is because the Mac and Chromebook are different than Windows-based computers. And most employers require employees to use Windows-based PC computers. So the business department at Highline is required to teach you on a Windows-based PC computer to match employers' demands. Now, if you have your own computer, you can save all your files to wherever you want on your computer. But if you're going to check out a computer from Highline or go use the labs here at Highline, then you need to get a USB drive so you can save all these files. Also, if you have a choice between a standard keyboard and a laptop keyboard, you want to get a standard keyboard. Because in the business world, keys like the 10 keys and the F keys at the top that do not require the FN or FX key, this type of keyboard is much easier to use and you can do everything much faster. Now in the videos, I'll point out the difference in the keyboards, but be sure and look at this. And if you have a choice, choose this one. Now, access to computers. If you need to use the computer labs here in building 30, you can schedule two hour chunks and you can go to this link. Also, if you need to borrow a computer, and actually I sent out an email a week and a half ago and then earlier this week about checking out a computer if you need a computer for this class. But there's the link there for that. And if you have your own computer and you need Excel, you can go to this link and Highline offers Microsoft 365 to all students. In fact, if I click this link, right over here, important information, free Office 365 for staff and students. And here's the schedule for fall if you want to use Building 30 Lab. Now up on page two, there's instructor information. There's my information. And I have office student hours, which means you can get help with the class advising or other questions you have. Monday to Thursday, 12, noon to 2 PM. You can either email or phone. But also, you can come in person, phone, Zoom, or email by sending me an email and requesting to meet sometime between Monday and Saturday. I am here a lot on campus. So if you can't make these office hours right here, send me an email, and we'll arrange something else. Now, you get to look through the rest of the syllabus, but there's a section on page 7, how to succeed in this class, details for tests and quizzes and grading. Now I want to jump over and look at Canvas. Here's the home area. And the home area has a link to jump back over to the people site, but don't use that. Just start at the people site and work there. And then week 1, week 2, week 3, this is a list of all the quizzes. These you click, and they're true, false, multiple choice quizzes. And here's a test link. Now, this test link is only an upload link. Because in accordance with the schedule, I'll email out the Excel test. You'll work on it over a couple days, and then you'll use this to upload. So there's a quiz, there's a test, all listed here on the home page. There's some other resources down here also. Announcements. At least once a week, I'll make some announcements. Discussions. If you want to ask a question, you can post a question here. There's just one place. You don't get points for this. It's just if you have a question about Excel or math, you can post it here. And be sure to upload the Excel workbook. And then grades. This is where you can go and look at your grades. Now, the to-do list only lists the items that have a definite due date. Things like quizzes are not listed over here. So be sure to use that schedule over in our syllabus. Now I want to go look at our People website. And here's the section where we have our Excel files. If I click Introduction to Excel, there are seven videos in this section with seven YouTube video links. And directly below each YouTube video link is an Excel file that you have to download. And then below each Excel file are PDF notes that have a complete written and pictorial summary of everything in the video. Now, the way this works is you always download the Excel file first, then open it up. And you use that to follow along with the video. Now in this first video, I show you how to download. And I even remind you about the PDF notes. But let's assume we downloaded the Excel file. Now let's click on this video. 
it jumps you over to YouTube. Of course, this is a YouTube video, so you can slide to any point in the video. But when you're watching them for the first time, you start at the beginning and watch to the end. But there's some magic below each video that I post at YouTube. There's the files in case you missed them at the other website, including the Excel file to download and the PDF file. And below each video is a Show More button. And in fact, for every video that I post for all my Highline classes, there's this Show More button. And when you click this button, it opens a time hyperlink table of contents. Now, the first time that you watch the video, you don't use this. You just watch it straight through and follow along with your Excel file. But later, when you need to remind yourself what the quat is, you simply come to that time hyperlink. And when you click it, it jumps exactly to that point in the video. And the cool thing is, in this class, for your quizzes or your tests, or later when you're out there working and you need to remember how to do something, these videos are at YouTube. You just come here, click on the thing you want. I'm going to click on number formatting. And bam, that's the part of the video that will help you with number formatting. Now I'm going to click the Back button. Click uh, Back or click Home. And so for each section, this section has three videos. I'm going to click the Back button. Fractions and decimals, this one has a bunch more. All right, click Back. All right, so you're going to have fun with this first video, which will help you download the files and get started in the class. All right, we'll see you next video, which, of course, is video number one.